over downtown on a pretty So far I found a little jar, fruit mason jar, some shards, some ash and cinder, some type of uh if you take a look it says the fruit the best fruit keeper cool lip on it some broken pottery and uh kind of like a weird glass needle thing i found but i'll keep at joe when we find it so just pulled this one out it appears to be some form of perfume bottle as... Sorry, it's very hard to read and I'm by myself. But no, so... <clears throat> if y'all can read that, it says perfume. Sorry, I'll get that cleaned off. Something perfume. Something brown perfume. It's a pretty cool little bottle. Tiny, hand tooled. I've never seen anything like it, but also I'm not as experienced as Mario with dating and figuring out these things, so get back at you. Mario's on his way. Pour down the house. Not sure if it's like an ashtray or cigarette tray, some degree stuff. So, get into the layer right about now. German bitters bottle or some you know, foreign bottle of bitters. I don't know what you remember what they call these. I've dug them before. Some stoneware. <coughs> Stupid. Old whiskey flask. Embossed, unembossed, druggist. Lantern piece. Oh, this is embossed actually. Ketchup. So. Keep going, I'll keep filming. Green, let me see. Just pull this out. SB's fragrant cream. Wow. A bunch of random stuff. A bottle that actually has lard in it still. Pretty gross. And I really like to throw down some pots. And like one, two, three. I didn't seem to reuse, reuse things. Nope. Okay. It's like a weird decorative piece. I'm trying to get out. <coughs> Not sure if it's whole, but wow. Very close. It's actually kind of neat. Don't want to wipe the paint off of it. These people threw a lot of decorative stuff out. Yep. Pretty well neat. I've yet to find a bottle that we can date the pit with. Oh, oh yeah, that's all it is. <coughs> what a boss. <coughs> Nothing. We also found on our way through this privy journey an unembossed this. Dr. Jane's Tonic Remifuge 242 Chess of P something 242 Chess or Chess something Philly. I can't read this. Dr. Jane's Remifuge Tonic Remifuge 242 Chess. Chess Street, Philadelphia. There you go. Wow. <clears throat> oh, there's a bottle. We'll just keep it light. Even better. We're just all over the unembossed garbage. Shit. All right. So we got this thing here. And uh, maybe it's a ginger beer. I don't know what exactly it is. Out. Here, pull her. Let's see how she is. Another 
Just a little piece. It's a hole. It's yeah, cool, no embossing. Plate. Stop Don't break. Here. Maybe they're they lost their breakfast. A lot of whole stuff down here. Gives us hope that we could find the instant. Kind of cool. We got our first decent bottle out of the hole. Let's see what it is. Okay. Chicago. Dempsey. And Ryan. Nice. Early bottle. So Michael pulled this out. We got two pits going with it. I think that's the 80s pit. I got a 19, 1990s pit. Or 1890s pit. So we pulled, he pulled, just pulled this 80s druggist out of there. Out of Chicago. This, uh, very old ink. And then this jar, hoop jar. Okay, the hero. There we go, let's see what you got. Got a Druggist out of Chicago, Dr. Dyke, I think it Nice. Very cool. Got another one? Another one? I want another one. Ooh. Druggist? A lot of good Chicago druggists. This one is Vander Nick and work. Make sure you hold it up to camera for a bit. Another, this one's actually really cool. Another druggist. Keep pulling them out. Wow. 80s druggists. Very cool. All right, boys and girls, here's the wrap up of two outhouse privies. Got one pit there, one pit here, 90s and 80s. Got a bunch of shards, a bunch of shards, a lot of uh, you, uh, the 90s pit. Got a lot of pitchers and cups and plates. Some cool stuff here. I got some stone. weird cup thing. I don't know what this would be for, but. Kind of decorative looking. It says some type of wash or something. I don't know what that is. This has lard in it. Gross. It's Witchers. Three ketchups. Yeah, we're here. Got for. some boss. Uh, I think it says Curtis Brand. Curtis Brothers Co. We have what? Um, Epsi's. Epsi's fragrant cream. About three of those. Bomb. Bunch of meds, the crier of the day. Show them the crier of the day. And I think I did it. Out of, uh, it's an antiseptic out of um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, there's amber for your amber uh, bottle. Unfortunately, it's all busted up. Got a Hutchinson. I'd say the stars of the show would be the Hutchinson. Good old Dempsey and Ryan. And then uh, several Chicago meds out of this 80s pit. Our pharmacies. So, we'll get it wrapped up and uh, we'll get these puppies cleaned up and show you when they're clean. Well, that's everything. We're out here in Thornton, Illinois today. Got a permission from the town to dig an old jail privy. We think we're in it. The map's kind of a little wonky, so in a pretty old portion of the right in the downtown so got lucy here today michael here as well you liking this so oh yeah we'll let you know when we get into something so got it all probed out it's not really deep there's a lot of bedrock here actually the old thornton quarry is right down there it's been here since 1837 i'm not exactly sure on the date but Sounds about right. So this used to be a, a small downtown. Of 
course, here's the village hall. And what we find today, we'll probably donate most of it to the Thornton Historical Society. So thanks, Doug, and thanks, Rosemary Cunningham, for letting us get out here. And uh, well, let's show what we find. Here's a little bit of a setup. We always bring steaks. Shout out to Chris Jordan for teaching us that. And uh, it's a good way to keep your walls in line. Sometimes when you mark it and you don't have steaks with you, you use leaves or something. Always try and probe out the walls first and it makes the digging a little bit easier and get, get, keeps the hole neater. You know, we lay down tarps, of course, try and cut out the uh, sod to the best of our ability and really highlight this all, so. Just pulled this out. Uh, hand tooled Allen Worth and Duna Singh, Chicago Heights, Illinois, Port Blob or Very Port cool. Crown Top. Very cool. Right hand, hand tooled. This, right. this okay. bib is stone lined. And uh, we're just kind of widening her out and getting in slightly into the layer in this corner, but we're trying to make sure we just kind of widen it out and go down directly. Out right now, shattered. Shattered top. Oh, well, it's usual suspects. Usual suspects. Very, very, very cool. Wow. Chaz, Mayor, and Co. Hammond, Indiana. It's a little bit better. And the stone line jail privy. Words? Yeah, they usually aren't. Sometimes they do. I don't remember, recall the name off of it. I keep talking my head. common beers you can find, right? Yeah. Pabst Brewing. Oh yeah. Makes sense why it's a blob too this late. Wow. I know to some people this is pretty cool. We just find a lot of these that are very common around here. So it is still a neat bottle. 18, late 1890s, turn of the century. So we'll get back at you soon. Every pretty much uh, quart size. Yeah, turn of the century. Probably 1905, 19. They definitely dipped this thing. Yeah, because it was an 1891 mask. I think it was older than. I think that, that this was probably. This town was settled 1838. I mean, it's hard to say. We got a, There's not many old maps on the town, but it was a pretty ancient town, so. All right, we'll get back if we have any more. Hopefully there's a few more in here. Kind of slim. We're all done. She's uh, about seven feet wide. And uh, about six. four foot. No, it's... Show the, show, the, show the people the wall and uh, bring, her, bring them on in. And right. Show them what's going on. So you've got brick liner. Uh, We'll do a pan, a little bit of a panoramic. There's the wall we kind of misjudged, so there's a lot of flagstone in here. It's Niagara Dolomite out of Thornton, Illinois. We're right in town here, and they use the local quarry rock, which is actually kind of cool. So, you know, you get a little bit more of it as we go. So you can see the corners right here. We got them all cleaned out. This was a bottle that was up high. The pit ended up being about turn of the century 1895 to about 1910 so definitely was dipped at some point but that's how it goes sometimes still had a lot of fun doing it we'll show you up the wrap up later on 
All right, guys, here's a quick wrap up of all, uh, some of the intact bottles. We got a whole bucket full of shards. Uh, we'll do another wrap up with all those to show you the sheer volume. We got a Calumet bottle, only works out of West Pullman. Allenworth and Dunes, out of Chicago Heights. Chaz H. Mayer. Out of Hammond, Indiana. Low max beverages out of Chicago. Two intact CH Mayer tombstone uh, hutches. A little bit newer. Different variation of CH Mayer, half brewing block top beer. Two uh, whiskey bottles, one small sample whiskey, LH Thomas Sink, uh, Koenig, random bottle, two other random bottles, maybe either Vaseline or some type of random oil bottle, not sure. Broken drugstore bottle out of Rothschild, I think it's out of Chicago, Rothschilds and Co. And this one was St. Ketter's Blood Purifying Bitters that I'm pretty sure I broke the probe, probe. So, love it. I think I broke both of these. This pit was way more shallow than I would have ever expected. So, feel good about that. So, you'll always keep learning. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll have one more picture at the end.